How many of us watch TV? Oh, one person in the room, right? Let's be honest. Okay, how many people watch more than one or two hours of TV a week? And how much time could you spend better doing something, working on your dream, than watching TV? How many hours? Shout them out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Well, when you turn the TV off, these are some things that you might experience. We've designed a program how to help you understand how the mind works. Does anybody here know how the mind works? In a very no. mysterious way. In a very <laughs> mysterious way. The brain function, yeah, neurons and all that stuff is going off and all that's because of what's been planted, yeah, 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 it, it's there. We understand how to replace thought patterns. Negativity, we're born into it. It was here when we got here. We can't change it, but we can't alter the way that we process, right? A stressed mind is a wandering mind. It's not. And a wandering mind is an unhappy mind. Who wants to be unhappy? Somebody say, not me. Not me. We don't want to be unhappy. So we've developed a program for strategic thinking. We have tools and techniques and practices and affirmations on how to overcome negative thinking. And what I'd like to do is share with you some of those tools and, and techniques. And we have it in a system. It's called the Mindfulness Breakthrough System. It's a four CD audio program. And this is called the Mindfulness Breakthrough Program. It's, we also have a coaching program an audio of the Passion Principles, which I, I need to give out. Does anybody want a copy of the... Okay, all you have to do is ask for us. You can teach your mind. You got another one over there? Okay. We only have two. Woo! Okay, right there. Thank you very much. And we also have a, a membership in Network, and the value is you can see what the values are of each one, and weekly updates. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. And these are some of the results that you can expect from the mindfulness program, stress reduction. Anybody here stressed out? Been stressed out? Think you might gonna be stressed out in the near future? <laughs> okay. How many of us operate from the subconscious mind? I think you do. We operate from the subconscious mind. We think we operate from the conscious, but in all actuality, we don't. This program also offers improved productivity, meditation techniques, and increased revenue, the bottom line, right? So we're gonna train the brain. So the question is, what story are you telling yourself today? I'm a woman, sorry guys. I'm a woman, I'm female, I'm too old, my hips are too wide, my nose is too big, my feet are too big, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. how, how many of us have ever told ourselves that message? Mm -hmm. Thank you for being honest. And you for being honest, I've got a book for you, Inspirational Conversations, 365 Days of Empowerment. Mm -hmm. A page a day <laughs> keeps your sanity in bank. The functions of the mind are what keep us twisted, what keep us out of sync, I should say. And we've got some tools and techniques. So what I'd like you to do is we're going to practice the first technique. It's called stop. Everybody say stop. 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 S stands for stop. What we want to do is curb the urge for you to purge. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? Curb the urge to purge. Let it out in a negative manner. Because we sometimes we <laughs> hold it in for so long, and then when it comes out, it comes out on the wrong person mm -hmm. or in the wrong way. So we want to learn how to control that, mm -hmm. how to control the situation, and go with the flow. Make it all easy and flow, right? Mm -hmm. The second one is breathe. Everybody take a deep breath. Well, that's what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what breathing. Most of us don't breathe properly. We think we do, but we don't. Monitor your breathing as the days go by because chances are you're breathing very shallow. Chances are you, when you're in a situation that you feel attacked, you will begin to breathe very um, <coughs> rapid. You even may have shallow breathing. Some people are just the opposite, and you might feel nervous. So what's the second one? Number two? Breathe. Breathe. Let's do it again. Let's inhale. Number three, observe. Observe the thoughts that are going on in your mind as you breathe. Because thoughts can be like little leaves floating down a river. You can watch those thoughts. You can react to those thoughts. Or you can respond to those thoughts. How you do that is entirely up to you. 
those thoughts may cause you pain. How many of us have had experiences where our thinking has caused us pain? Okay, thank you for being honest. 